Hey guys, how's it going? Octopus here. Welcome back to Union Cross. We were talking about the new copy medal plus three new Kingdom Hearts 3 medals that just came out in JP. Should be coming out for us tomorrow or sometime soon. And I just want to say copy medals, doesn't matter what you do in this game, they last the longest. Now I know the older copy medals don't have, have as much value as they used to because they don't have Supernova and that big increase in the general strength. Hopefully one day they will unlock it. But for now, we've got the new era of copy medals like Lee, who's just incredible. He's got his uh, Supernova, 250% guilt. And now we got the new copy medal that just dropped today in JP for reverse power. The banner, everything, I'm going to talk about each medal individually and if you guys should pull or skip on this. But if you have the jewels and you don't really care about the non-mercy pull, if you do grab this medal, guys, it is guaranteed to last a very long time because this one's a little bit special. So let's jump in and let's talk about this beautiful, beautiful medal. First off, we're going to go with the banner. The banner itself, there's two of them. One's non-VIP. There is no mercy pull for either of them. So if you're pulling, you're not going to guarantee any anything except for the Kingdom Hearts 3 medals that you see. The Neo Shadow, the Soldier there, and the Core. Besides that, you're not guaranteed to get the actual copy medal itself. But it is a falling price deal, so five pulls will only cost you 11600 and then from there it's just cheaper and cheaper because it's 1900 1900 1900 So you can pull a lot of this, you can get your sub slots pretty high, especially guaranteeing yourself these new copy medals which are tier 8s for your sub slots, which is incredible. So you are getting a lot of value out of this. But they only go towards obviously the reverse speed and reverse magic, so only certain Keyblades are going to get the full benefit from this. So VIP gets you two guaranteed of those three medals per pull again at 1900 per pull first five pulls 11,600 after that the next five pulls will cost you 9,500 for 10 pulls altogether it's around 21,000 jewels which is pretty good when you're talking about pulling 10 times 10 times pure sub slots and a lot of trait rolls on the copy metal so let's say that you pull five times or ten times on either banner you get one trait metal on the normal banner two trait metals on the vip banner so if you don't get her now you have these traits for when you do get her later on either through free pulls a returning copy banner any way that they let us get this metal again you will have trait rolls for it now that is future investing and it's not the best idea when you are trying to make your setup still your keyblades aren't strong enough it's not really good idea to invest in something that's probably months and months away but worst case scenario you do have traits for her later and traits are very important as you saw my free-to-play count i bought those trait boards to trait my lee that i got out of a free pull so it is not the best scenario if you don't get anything but don't go crazy spending all your jewels. You will get sub slots out of this, you will get new medals, and you might get the medal. But again, non-mercy, be careful. Besides that, solid banner because these three medals are actually pretty decent. So we'll start off with the copy medal. The copy medal's name is Angelic Amber. It has a maximum of strength of 25,000 with chips. So no traits on it, it is at 25,000. That is huge. Lee does not have that much. These are the new medals. They're coming up more general strength. And 25,000 on a copy metal is incredible because copy metals keep their general strength when they copy another metal. Everything else they copy from there is the multiplier, the effects, so on and so on. I'll explain that more later in another video if you guys need it. I do have a couple of videos actually explain it already. But 25,000 base strength is huge and without any traits. So this makes this the best copy metal in the game. And not only that, reverse power has so many amazing slots that this metal can fit on multiple keyblades easily fairy stars starlight you've got even those mono keyblades fenrir you've got uh, dark Gnaw. there's so many keyblades that reverse power works for and reverse power is just such a good slot that if you were to get this keyblade i mean this metal you would never have to fill up that reverse power slot again until they just died that hey we're gonna make new copy metals but that's probably not gonna happen for years so a reverse power metal that is pretty much gonna be guaranteed to be in every single setup that you use meaning you never have to pull for another reverse power metal and i'm kind of happy that my dual world roxas didn't come out too good because i'm thinking about going for this banner and it's rng i know that sucks but i'm around 50,000 jewels so hopefully luck comes through if it doesn't sub slot increase i guess so with that being said um the metal itself copies forward it's got a supernova that activates for 250 percent guilt increase to all your metals which is very very good again a metal that's going to be on every keyblade that you use and it has 250 percent increase is a solid metal copies forward so it's going to be a little bit awkward if you use lee because the forward on fairy stars is a speed upright speed and if you use copy metal lee on there you're going to have to find either or to switch up there 
but copy medals can sit on every Keyblade's pet slot. So you can always copy your friend's medal if you ever, ever need to, and that is a huge game changer for a lot of quests. So, with that being said, uh, straightforward copy medal, copies forward, which is great, and 250% uh, guilt increase on a copy medal is awesome with that 25,000 base strength. Nothing is wrong with this medal. This medal is the perfect medal, and that's why it's a non-mercy banner. Usually the best medals are on non-mercies. So, now the next three medals though, let's say you don't get the copy medal, are these medals worth it? Are they good? Pretty much, yes. They actually have solid multipliers, and they got general strength of 19,000, which makes them actually the next best thing for their slots, for reverse magic and reverse speed. But that is reverse magic and reverse speed. In JP, there's a new Keyblade from Wreck-It Ralph, which is looking incredible, and it doesn't have any upright or reverse slots. It just has huge multipliers. So it doesn't matter at this point what it is, reverse or upright. So I'm going to take that into consideration when I talk about these, but in global right now, if you guys do pull for these, there's a long time waiting for that new Keyblade, like probably a long time unless they rush a the story. And I hope they do because I really want that Keyblade. Um, but either way, each of these metals have a base strength of 19,000. Let's start off with the Neo Shadow. The Neo Shadow is a reverse speed metal. I'm going to go back up here and show you guys the Neo Shadow is the first one. So this metal, what does it do? Shout out to Robloid for his translations, as always, thank you so much. Neo Shadow is a tier 8, costs 1 gauge, it has a multiplier of 48.97 to 54.25. Now, let me go to the reverse speed medals. 54.25 is stronger than Zack, stronger than Invisible, stronger than Marluxia, stronger than Riku over here, stronger than every metal you see except for Marluxia. So, 54 is the second strongest reverse speed metal in the game. It is single target, not random, so you choose what enemy you want to hit. Even if it was random, it doesn't really matter. The condition to get it to have that 54 though, it damage increases with the higher slot. So it has to be on pet, uh, the pet slot or slot five of a Keyblade. So it's a little awkward because we use very powerful metals on our pet slot. And if we want to reverse speed uh, position for this metal, it's going to be a different Keyblade besides the main three Keyblades. So keep that in consideration when it comes to reverse speed metals. So besides that, it is a very strong, when we talk about 19,000, we look at something like Riku here, who has a max strength of 17,000. So technically, this Neo Shadow, if you think about it, has two plus 1,000 strength on it for traits, but it's not traits. You still have five empty trait slots to go along with. So it's automatically stronger than Riku, not only by the multiplier difference, but a strength difference as well, which is huge when you put those two together. So this is the next step into power. So buffs and debuffs doesn't really matter when it comes to that because you guys got Kairi and Shion, take care of everything, but they do add something to the floor. So buffs reverse attack by 15 tiers and buffs your speed attack by five tiers. Debuffs the enemies reverse speed defense by five and damage increases, like I said, higher the slot number. It does 11 hits and it's supernova buffs your general speed attack by 10 tiers and increases an enemy's counter by plus five, which is actually really good for metal that doesn't ignore the enemy's counters and causes 11 hits. Blue counters will go down really, really quick, but with the supernova, it can increase it by five. So technically only six hits affect the blue counter. It's still pretty big when it comes to that. It doesn't ignore enemy's counters. Keep that in consideration. So Neo Shadow, solid looking metal, tier eight sub slots, again, really good. Now we got the High Soldier, which is the metal in the middle over here. The High Soldier, again, 19,209 base strength. It's got a multiplier of 34.63 to 54.65. Another reverse speed metal. So back to the chart, reverse speed. He is going to sit right over here with the Neo Shadow. Sorry for clicking on that. He is a little bit stronger than Neo Shadow. He's got about a 40.40 .40 difference in the multiplier. And he's got a little bit more strength. So technically, he is the strongest one besides Marluxia. So what does he do? In order to get that 54.65, damage increases the more gauges you have. So as long as you have 10 gauges or more on your Keyblade, then you're good to get that 54 multiplier. On a reverse Keyblade, though, it's harder to keep that 10. Keep that in consideration unless your metals have traits of plus 2 gauges. So again, buffs and debuffs. Your buffers have that, but to kick in for those quests where enemies debuff you or they increase their defenses, he, for one turn, buffs your reverse attack by 10 tiers, buffs speed attack by 5 tiers, debuffs the enemy's reverse defense by 10 tiers, and debuffs the enemy's speed defense by 5 tiers. Pretty good when it comes to that. Especially, just like I said, if you're using like a Kyrie instead of a Shion, you want to have those reverse buffs in your Keyblade to take over what your Kyrie couldn't do. 
So it's a super burst, 200 multiplier, very solid, single target for that. It debuffs an enemy's general, speed defense by 10 tiers. General defense down is very important, and it's great to see that on a supernova. Increments an enemy's counter by plus five as well. So two solid metals, only issue is that it's reverse speed, and that works really good on the stroke of midnight. The bad guy keyblade is actually a big exception to that because it does have a speed slot that doesn't matter upright reverse. So in the future, these metals, reverse speed, it doesn't matter because that Keyblade seems to be like the best Keyblade in the game currently. And it's only at plus 10 right now with huge multipliers. So last but not least is the Flame Core. And the Flame Core is actually the strongest one out of all of these. Flame Core, we go to reverse magic metals. You're going to see it's got a multiplier of 53.46. And it's got a base strength of 19,220. So 53.46 doesn't matter. Slot, HP, doesn't matter. It's always 53.46. Where does that fit? Right before Hades and after Aqua. It is the third best reverse magic metal in the game. Hades is an AoE metal who has a multiplier of that 54. As long as there's only one ME left, it's 54. AoE is 42. This metal is a single target, so we're looking compared to the 54. So Hades is stronger when it comes to single target, um, but Hades is better because he is also AoE for a pretty decent multiplier. Now, we do have Luxord over here who has a higher multiplier, but again, he has a 50% chance of this activating, which is not guaranteed, and he drops down to 38. So technically, guaranteed damage every single turn is really, really nice. 53.46, stronger than Aqua, stronger than that Maleficent, stronger than your young Xehanort. All of that, he is really, really good, and it doesn't matter where he sits. He can be on the pet slot, on the whatever reverse magic slot you guys have on a Keyblade, he's going to do good. Now, what does he do for buffs and debuffs? Only costs one gauge, single target for one turn, buffs reverse attack by five tiers, buffs magic attack by 10 tiers, and debuffs an enemy's reverse defense by 15 tiers. Debuffs an enemy's magic defense by 10 tiers, and only two hits. Does not ignore enemy counters, but it's only two hits. So, Super Burst. Ability single target, one turn, buffs general attack by 5 tiers, buffs magic attack by 10 tiers, and buff debuffs an enemy's general defense by 5 tiers, and also debuffs an enemy's magic defense by 10 tiers. Buffs and debuffs are incredibly good, and like I said, it is on the second slot on the Fairy Stars, so this goes from your Kyrie or Shion activating, if it's Shion or Kyrie, it's going to finish up that magic strength up and magic defense down on the enemy that Kyrie and Shion are lacking. Also continuing with the reverse attack by 5 and reverse defense down by 15, which again, Kyrie and Shion are lacking to max out. So it's actually a very solid choice to go into that second slot. So great banner when it comes to just falling price deals. I know it's not on Mercy, but the three medals are still solid. Worst case here, we're not in the JP. We don't have that new Keyblade, so it's not going to shine as bright because our main Keyblades are the Fairy Stars, Starlight, and Stroke of Midnight. Stroke of Midnight... Pretty good because you have a reverse speed slot there. So at least a soldier in the Neo Shadow will do really good. And then Fairy Stars, the core will sit on the second slot. So they do have a place to sit on. It's just harder to get the a good Keyblade like the Fairy Stars if you're working on it. Or the Starlight, which doesn't have a reverse speed slot. You have to use the pet slot. So it's not incredibly the best, but they are the best for their current position because i said again 19,000 base strength compared to 17,000 all these other metals extra 2,000 strength there so altogether, the banner is pretty good it is a skip because it's a non-mercy but if you have a lot of jewels and you are dedicated to trying to get this metal it is a very good metal just be warned you probably can pull a hundred times and not see it in vip you have a higher chance of seeing it showing up not by much but it is a higher chance so it is up to you guys what you do from there. Everything on this banner is great. If this was a 5 Mercy, beautiful. If not, and you just want to increase a couple sub slots for reverse metals, and even there's Keyblades that don't have reverse, they have just neutral for their sub slots, it can still work out pretty good. So guaranteed tier 8 7 stars is nice. So that is pretty much everything together, guys. There is more update to the JP side for story and everything, but we're going to see what comes to global, and I'll cover that tomorrow. For now, let me know what you think about these metals. Again, I'm probably going to pull my main account. I have about 50,000 jewels saved up. I might get the VIP. I might not, depending. I haven't bought VIP uh, for quite a while. And if I did, I think it was just a one of. So I'm not sure if I want to put another VIP in there. But even the normal banner is totally fine to me. They're both falling price deals. Not like VIPs only via, uh, falling price, which is nice. 20,000 jewels. 
equals 10 pulls, which means 10 uh, trait rolls for later on if I don't buy VIP. If I get VIP, that is 20 trait rolls, and 10 pulls seems pretty decent to at least get some sub slots in there of tier 8, because I need some tier 8 for those certain metals on Keyblade. So it will be nice to get that increase. Let me know what you think. Are you guys going for it? Are you skipping it? I know a lot of you guys are skipping it because the main rule in this game, especially as a free to play player, is skip non mercy banners. But there's three medals that are actually pretty decent there, especially the core. You could get pure Neo Shadows, and that's it, and that kind of ruins it. You also got to remember I don't know if there's trait rolls for those medals. So if you want traits on those three medals, you have to sacrifice them together. So that actually takes away your whole sub slot. Unless the VIP coins are for those three medals. If they're not, sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice. You're hurting your sub slots just for this one medal to sit on a Keyblade, which is not, like I said, the greatest because of the Keyblade slots that it has to sit on. So it's one of those things, guys. Let me know what you're doing. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling, and I'll see you in the next one.